gonna delete the CPU. For delete the CPU, you need sandpaper ultra fine, you need a CPU, you need a blade, you need tape, a heat gun, with you can adjust the temperature, and a power bar, if you can have a plug close to you. So before I start the video, I, I just say I'm not legally responsible for any injury or physical damage or damage you done to your CPU. So first, you, be, you're gonna take the tape and take a piece and put in the back of the CPU because you have some transistor to protect and if it's broken the the, the CPU gonna step to work so you're gonna do this so this, this. take another because you need to cover all the the back of the CPU And there it needs more. So now, just like you see, they have some tape. You can use one blade to cut the extra the extra. Yes, so you cut the extra tape. To be secure, you need to take the, the blade with two fingers in the back and one on the top. So you have a, a great grab on the blade. And you grab off the, blade, the extra tape. So now the back is all covered and it's safe now you take a blade with two finger in the back and one in the top so basically how under the this is the lead under you have the die and some transistor so you need to be very careful because if you cut one of these your your cpu gonna doesn't work so under this, this is the, the top and the around, it's, you have some glued. So with the blade, you're gonna carefully put the blade under and you do a little pressure for cut the glued, not go to too deep because if you go too deep you're gonna cut the transistor so now I can I have cut all the glued in the corner so you're gonna do this and this like that so now now I have cut all the glued there so gonna do this this and this carefully because if you go too deep or you do a bad move you're gonna cut yourself yeah. so you do extremely careful too, too deep slowly because you're gonna cut yourself in you do that thing so change do slowly so now I have cut all the glue in this corner and this you have in the for all side you have glued but not there because if they have a lot of heat they're gonna go there so you don't have there 
so now I have cut all this so I'm gonna do slowly in the corner and now if you don't have cut the glue there and if you do this you cut all the glue so do this go slowly because you have transistor in the under slowly slowly you can change hands if you want but slowly under the tube finger there there so there I'm gonna add it to this so now I'm gonna do the third corner So you can change if you have a wet hand. Okay. Like this and this. So you have cut all the glue. All the glue. this like this cut all the glue there I'm at the fourth corner so do the same thing with the two fingers cut all the glue then this like this and there you have cut all the glue so now what you're gonna do it's Take your heat gun, plug in, but don't turn it on now. Yeah. So now you're gonna take the blade, and what you're gonna do is put under the 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 lead. So like this, but not too deep, because what you're gonna do. It's when all the blades are there. Today we're gonna take the, the tape and put on the top. So under this, most of this xeon are glued in the corner. And in the middle, you have the die under the lid and it's soldered. So basically, we gonna heat it so they're gonna separate it. So down, put on the top and like this yes. and put the blade under not too deep because we we don't want to cut the transistor take the third blade under like this not too deep yeah and the fourth on the top and on the top like this, not too deep. So basically, you're gonna take this and put on it. So basically, when we're gonna heat it, the the back gonna fall, and the top gonna fall too. But when you're gonna heat it and it's gonna separate, it, you want to do the faster as possible. Unplug the the heat gun and put in this in safer like nobody gonna touch it because it's a very high frequency of heat this. so this move I'm gonna move like this because you don't want to so you're gonna press on the power button. Today I'm gonna use the Wagner. And with this model, I can choose all the frequency of the heat I want. And with select, I can go and the cool, the high, and the low. 
So now I'm going to power up. So do very ext extremely safe because you don't want to heat you. Now I'm going to do in the high. So it's good. I select on the 850 degrees. So I'm going to eat it like centimeter on the top so when they're gonna finish to heat it you're gonna spray it automatically but when they're gonna separate it do extremely because the heat gonna very hot metal This, like this and when they're gonna uh, or separate do when your CPU falls you power up your heat gun or unplug it you take it in the corner you go faster because if it's resold it's you you have to put it in the trash so now you take it off and you let it dry because it's very very hot and for the next step now i have let it rest a couple of half hour and now we're gonna take it off the rest of the solder on this so what you need it's your tape what you basically need is to cover all the the processor because if we cut a transistor on it, it's it's don't gonna work. So we need to cover all the processor. Cover all the processor. Yes, this, 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 like this. So put it like that. So now what is the only thing with without tape it's the die with the solder. So now you need a blade with two finger in the back and one for security. Cut. We remove the solder and you go really slowly for security and now just cut the excellent go slow go slow and a piece so now we see you have the die and the rest of the solder so we go slowly, we go slowly. You can take it off and take off the accident. Can take off some with your finger because what we need now is if it's the die to not have any soldier on it. So take off the pivot.
so now we have take the the bigger part of the soldier on the die but it rests a lot so now you're gonna take a piece of your ultra fine sandpaper pick up this and now what you're gonna do is slowly go like that for take out all the solder and in the same time it's cleaning the, the die with one with one sense. like that like that and if you see a, a, some soldier you can just take your plate like that and cut it this oh sorry so so you do this until you see no No soldier. You can just do this to use some without soldier and it's more so like that and like that. So now we see in the corner they have some. So I'm gonna take that so now we are finished so basically you can put some oil on it or yeah uh, but I don't have it like that now so now what you do is you cut slowly and be careful to not cut the CPU and take off the tape so now take it off and that so with the tape we have protect the transistor so now we are sure that the CPU works so this take the under like that and you see now all is intact so if you want a better job you can take your, your blade and cut the rest of the the glue but today we're gonna don't do it so basically I have finished so I hope you have enjoyed the video and have a good day